Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from EGATSEC. Following up on my unboxing of the ROG Phone 6, I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of the ROG Aeroactive Cooler 6. And as part of this video guys, I'm going to be doing my usual performance and heat test and we're going to be seeing how well the cooling system on this year's ROG Phone 6 will perform in keeping the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip cool under pressure. So what are we waiting for guys? Let's get these intense tests started. So as usual guys, I'm going to be running a couple of benchmark tests and that's going to be including the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. So it's going to be a 20 minute test and we're going to be seeing how well the cooling system of this new Asus ROG Phone 6 will perform in keeping its temperatures under control. And of course, we're going to be testing out whether the new Aeroactive Cooler 6 will actually live up to the claims that it can actually reduce temperatures by up to 25 degrees Celsius. So let's go ahead and see what's inside this pretty big Aeroactive Cooler box. So let's move this aside for now. So there is a picture of the Aeroactive Cooler at the front, ROG Aeroactive Cooler written at the front as well in a blue color. The Republic of Gamers logo on the left as well on the right and at the back just the usual model number and serial number. Remove this completely Ooh. and let me do the same on the other side. Okay, that peeled off better than the one on the right side. Have an active cooler at the top and the blue color font. As there was six over here. I'm not sure if you can see it properly. And let's see what's inside. You get a free case. Let me open this up. So it came with a case, um, looks more like a bumper case except that huge hole in the middle. And if you compare it with the free case that came with the Asus ROG Phone 6, the material is the same though the design is different in that this actually has a bigger hole and it is actually designed to be compatible with the Aeroactive Cooler 6. So you're not going to be able to use this case with the Aeroactive Cooler 6. So if you want more protection, use this case though it's not compatible with the Aeroactive Cooler. So let's see how it fits on the phone. A few moments later. Like I said, not much protection at the back, but of course, you're only going to be using the case when you're going to be attaching your cooler. Now let's see what else is in here. You've got the warranty card, warranty information. There is an Aeroactive Cooler First Edition user guide, so it tells you what you need to do. And you get the Aeroactive Cooler 6 itself. So there is a lot of plastic involved in this unboxing, guys. So let me just rip it up. And there is the cooler again is wrapped in protective plastic so let me peel it off and you've got the first look at the air active cooler I do like the design it has a uh, white uh, trigger buttons that will enhance your gaming experience when once connected because you do get additional buttons to play with and you've got the Republic of Gamers logo over there ROG written there and pretty much it and I think this is the kickstand. So if you want to put your phone like so, so you can probably watch movies hands-free. Before you actually start using the cooler, make sure you remove this piece of plastic because the difference this year is that this is now a thermoelectric cooler. So this is the pad that gets cold. So it's not like the Aeroactive cooler that came with ROG Phone 5. This is just strictly a fan that you attach to the back of the phone. As you can see here, no uh, thermal pad at the back. And you've just got two buttons and a kickstand right there. Though you do have more colors once you've got the kickstand engaged. So this year, the cooler actually got a lot bigger and it's definitely going to make your phone bigger once it's attached to the back. So let me go ahead and attach the cooler to the phone. All right, so I've got the phone here and based on the manual, in order to connect it to the phone, you press this button. So you've got the USB-C connector at the bottom and you line it up with the USB-C port on the left side of the phone. And you make sure that you close it with a click. Good thing here guys because the power button is covered with this rubber piece and you can still use the power button even when the cooler is connected. So it's going to function just fine. 
and as you can see on the back it already started lighting up so if you're an rgb fan guys so this is going to get a lot of attention when you whip it up in public really digging the look on this uh, cooler guys it's a lot more flashy and aside from that hopefully it can cool a lot better than the air active cooler of last year and you can see here you can now enable x mode plus which is basically the highest performance mode that you can set on the ROG Phone 6 and is only applicable once you've got a cooler attached. So as you can see here, the Aero Active Cooler is attached, the cooler temperature is 29 and the system temperature is 32. If I go to more settings, you've got smart, we got cool. So basically cool is just high speed airflow. It's not going to be using the thermoelectric cooler. In order to use that, you click on and use frosty. But if you want the maximum cooling performance, performance you actually need to connect an additional USB-C cable or you can use a charger to a USB-C cable or you can use a power bank. So it now functions similar to the Fun Cooler Pro 2 and also Nubia's new turbo cooler. Starting the wildlife extreme stress test in 3, 2, 1. So just to recap guys, here are some graphs of the results that I'm getting. The best loop score overall was the frozen mode using the Air Active Cooler 6, as well as the best stability score of 99.6%. So when comparing the frosty and frozen mode guys, the maximum temperature that the Asus ROG Phone 6 got was 42 degrees Celsius. So there isn't much of a difference in terms of temps, though the only advantage of using frozen mode is that since you've got a charger attached, then you're not going to be losing any battery life. But of course, there are pros and cons to that. One of the pros is that you can enable bypass charging on frozen mode, but you're basically going to be tied to one spot because you need to connect a powerful charger to enable that frozen mode in the first place. But if you're using the frosty mode, the frosty mode actually used the most battery life among the other modes available to you, but it did perform great in terms of cooling the phone. So overall guys, I'm very impressed with the Aero Active Cooler 6. And one good thing about the Aero Active Cooler 6 is that it is compatible with the ROG Phone 5. As an example here guys, so I've got my ROG Phone 5. Let me connect it real quick. And there you go guys. So ROG Phone 5 with the Aero Active Cooler 6 working just fine. It has the same settings. So you've got smart, you've got cool, frosty, and you've got the frozen mode so stay tuned guys i'm going to be coming up with another video where i'm going to be testing the aero active cooler 6 on the rg phone 5 and we'll see how well this aero active cooler 5 will compare with the aero active cooler 6 so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and you've turned on the notification so you'll be the first to know once that video is up so with that said let me end this benchmark and thermal throttling test on the rg phone 6 as usual a sub would be massively appreciated Please like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification, and see you all on my next one.